Oh yeah, so we got an oldie but goodie cracking on here. And for those who don't know, you know, you want to cut a little slit in your bologna so it don't bubble up. And don't forget to take that off. Yeah, check this out. See, you take that off before you cook it or eat it. And with that little slit right there, that prevents it from bubbling up. Alright, we're going to let these bad boys cook up. Alright, so it's time for some flippages. Just... Look at that, that's what you want. That's what you want on your bologna. On your bologna. Look at that. Alright, so I got that bologna pulled. Yes. And now... Of course, turn that fire down and make sure you pick that up. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Check it. We got one egg. Did the yolk come up? Alright, so I got these eggs flipped. Yeah, these bad boys are looking nice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get to building this sandwich. Let's get to building this Odie but goodie. Make that a little even. There we go. We could at. We add some cheese. We got a slice of Havarti. And then we got the lid. Alright, I'm going to let this toast up. We're going to be back with a flip. So we got flippage. And as you can see, that bad boy is nice, golden brown. And I didn't use mayonnaise. This is just straight butter. And that's nice and crispy. Alright. Odie but goodie. Fried bologna and egg sounds for breakfast. But you know, when you get older, you get the pimp stuff out. So I put some Havarti cheese on that bad boy. Yeah. But we still got the good old bar espaloni with the red rope. Don't forget to take the rope out. Yeah. This is what I like to whoop up from time to time. And bring my kids back to reality. Let them know this was a staple in our generation. Fried bologna and egg sandwich. Mmm. You can taste the history. You really can. Alright, everybody be cool out there. If you check me out on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Any just stuff like cooking. 